We're very, very ready for this. President Trump speaking to the American public, trying to ease concerns over the spread of the coronavirus, also announcing he's putting Vice President Mike Pence in charge of a virus task force. We think this is something that we can develop fairly rapidly, a vaccine. But top federal health officials paint a more grim picture. Although a human trial is expected to begin in the coming months, a vaccine in widespread use is much further in the future than what the president stated. It still will not be any applicable to the epidemic unless we really wait about a year to a year and a half. There are 60 confirmed cases in the U.S. and political leaders in the tri-state area say they're listening to the warning from the Centers for Disease Control and getting a plan in place in the event of an outbreak. I am urging the CDC and the federal government to add the testing protocol upon entry. With nearly 81,000 cases worldwide and close to 3,000 deaths, it's affecting all walks of life, including study abroad programs. Students at NYU's Florence campus given just two days to leave. Due to a spike in cases in Italy, the campus shut down and classes canceled. Sophomore Alvaro Barrera quickly left flying to London, but his courses are structured around being in Italy. We got the email and that's where we all kind of started panicking because we all wanted to make sure we could like leave the country, leave Europe. The university has said they will resume classes online next week and hope to have students back at the Florence campus by the end of March. Students are questioning whether they should drop out or if they want to take online courses. Like, I'm still figuring it out and still deciding what options I have. Students in limbo as more and more people face what experts say will become a worldwide pandemic and a troubling announcement coming today from the CDC. A new coronavirus case in California involving someone who has neither traveled to an affected country nor has been exposed to another known patient.